right, so something something happened. Um, well, there's a lot happening at the moment. There's all the coronavirus stuff. We might be playing football, we might not be. But um, I've been looking for a shed for a while. Um, something that I can put all my stuff in so I can pump out some content and get some uh, good stuff going for you guys and actually get some work done for me and help the channel grow and and uh, just keep everything flowing. So I uh, had a mate who had a shed and uh, uh, yeah, so I've decided to, I went bang on a shed and uh, we're, I'm renting it out for six months to see how we go. And um, just to be able to get everything sorted and keep all my content going. And also if we're gonna be in isolation and gotta isolate, um, this is uh, probably the best way for me to isolate so I don't pull my hair out. But uh, this is where we're at, so I'll give you a little tour. Good. Got the red F truck down. It's uh, something wrong with the transmission and it's not uh, selecting reverse. So that's sitting there like that. But uh, this is it. I've managed to get my basketball hoop here because it's been sitting out in the back because of the building going on at my house. This is a nice space, so I should be able to get most of my cars in here, the Monaro and the Ute, and then maybe one other, one other um, F-Truck, the main one. I'm selling that, so if you know anyone who wants it, pretty cheap, around six, seven K, something like that, so. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the space at the moment. And this is a little office. I'm sure I'll put a fridge in here and get myself a computer where I can, uh, edit my videos and uh, get the content out to you guys as soon as possible. So this is my space. I'm pretty pretty pumped with it, to be honest. Um, I've been here all day moving stuff across and getting everything over and uh, just working around in this space and uh, I'm keen to get into, into a bit of work. So hopefully get the Monaro here as well and then I can finally swap that dash over, start pulling apart the white ute, get the other, um, the 67 F truck here and uh, get into that as well. And uh, I mean, with the world going nuts, uh, a bit of isolation for me in here means I can get a lot of work done and then get a heap of content out to you guys. So uh, yeah, while, uh, while footy's not going or if it is going or whatever, I'll be here and grind away on the cars and try and get as much content out as, uh, as I can. So stay tuned, hope you uh, enjoy my space. Um, so yeah, I've tied it up a little bit. Just pushed everything into this corner. So I'm gonna put everything over this side of the uh, of the shed. And I've got the red one out. I had to take the drive shaft out because it, um, yeah, it was, just wouldn't go into park neutral or anything like that. It only just starts and drives and stays there. So there's the drive shaft and a bit of the other shed. Just gonna give it a quick run over with a sponge and See if we can get a bit of the dirt off, but at the moment she's pretty um pretty gross. A bit warped and whatever, but this is it, so I can sell it, make room, bring the other ones down and uh, go from there. So yeah, that's it. That's washed. Wheels come up alright, probably the best thing on it. But um yeah, that'll be, uh, I'll sit and I'll let that sit and dry and rust a bit more and um, I'm going to go drop off uh, my shift, what, that S1 sequential shifter that I got a little while ago for the Monaro. This guy wants to try it out and if he likes it, he's going to buy it. So I'm going to go get, meet him at, um, at the boys shop and yeah, and I'll be back and I'll push this thing back in here and and that'll do it for a bit and then on the weekend I'm going to grab um, the main 67 and bring it down and then I can start pulling that apart and then hopefully this soon so all right so after getting all my shed together setting it all up get clean the red one got people coming to look at it today so I'm up at Mark's block and I've come to grab this the main one and start uh, getting that ready basically um, I'm going to just take that as it is and then I'll come up tomorrow and I'll grab this one and um, or this tray anyway and then uh, yeah I've got to try and get that that off somehow so I can lift the, the tray off but I don't know dogs are here running around as they do um, but yeah that's uh, that's my job today I've got to get up and get back pretty quick so we'll get into it all right so we're all loaded up all ready to roll get the dogs we can get the hell out of here 
and uh, then tomorrow I'll come back up and I'll pull the tray off that and get that all sorted get back down to the shed and we'll uh, hopefully uh, sell the red one then we can fund this or maybe even another project I've got something in mind so we'll uh, we'll wait to see what we can get for this red truck and go from there so let's do it okay so I didn't end up going up to the block today I uh, just had someone who was keen to come look at the truck again. So I've had three people come over look. A um, couple are pretty keen, but no one's yet to sort of pull the trigger. But um, yeah, so I've just been around here, went and bought some shelves, started tying, tying it up and sort of trying to use the space really well and um, so I can fit as many cars as I can in here. Um, and yeah, so I'm just finishing off this video. Um, my little desk here. All sorted. The dogs are here too. They're just having a quick snooze, but got the trucks here. Mark's trailer. Moved everything around and put it all on the shelves over here. Got my barbecue here. Got to bring the fridge soon. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this clip. Um, hopefully, I can get the, uh, the tray down uh, this week and then start pulling all the bits and pieces off that and get it all ready for body work which is gonna be a bit of work and then, yeah, so, and then actually hatch out a plan and what I'm actually gonna do with that and um, suspension, tra like transmission, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go auto now, I'm thinking maybe manual, but I don't know, I've gotta, um, that's what I'm gonna make, make my mind up and see what's gonna be the most cost efficient thing and because I wanna be a tow rig as well, so we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see what, what we can uh, put together, but, at the moment, um, this is it. I'm gonna finish this video off and then I'm gonna get out of here and go chill out at home. And uh, yeah, stay, stay isolated I suppose and hope everyone's staying safe out there. It's not a very good time in the world at the moment, but if you can uh, keep yourself busy, um, I think that's, that's the best way, to, best way to do it. So hope everyone's well and I hope you enjoyed this and enjoy my new space. Cheers.